I first talked to you about hyperlink two months ago. Since then, I've not said anything concerning hyperlink. So in today's video, I want to show you a new project that has integrated hyperlink, meaning that interacting with this project means you are also interacting with hyperlink. Yes. Also in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new testnet in town, which has the support of most of the big projects in the space. And this project has good funding. Here are the investors of this project so far. I'm going to be showing you exactly what you need to do to position for a possible airdrop from these guys. Let's get started. Former chain is built with Hyperlane and Stripe. It is originally owned by Stripe. Okay, and we all know that Hyperlane has raised good funding. Now, there is a possibility that we are going to be killing two beds with one stone. What I'm trying to say is that Stripe might be a dropping to their early users of this very bridge. While we're also in for Hyperlane airdrop. Yeah, so what are we supposed to do right here? It is pretty simple. First, you need to have your Kepler wallet. If you have not been interacting with Hyperlane, you need to go back to my channel and see this very video. This is your starting point. Make sure you see this video and get started. Then come back right here and follow the steps I'm going to be showing you right away. So the first thing is to connect your Kepler wallet, which of course is this. Then the second thing is to connect your Metamax wallet, which is this. Now I've already made an interaction and I have funds in my former chain uh, wallet. Now, if you don't have the ROPC, you go straight to chainlist.org and you will find the former chain ROPC. Otherwise, when you bridge from Celestia into the former chain and you want to bridge out of former chain, the ROPC is going to pop up for you automatically and you add it up to your Metamax wallet. I am just going to show you what you need to do. I'm not going to be bridging, okay, because I have funds in my former chain. For example, I have 1.2 tier here. So let's say I want to bridge around 0 0.5. I'll just type it in 0 0.5 and then I'll go ahead to click on deposits. And the next thing is going to validate this transaction. And you're going to see all the details, the local gas, which is 0 0.008 and the interchain gas which is 0.02 and the time it is going to take okay so then you click on deposit and go ahead to confirm in your kepler wallet and you're going to receive this funds in your metamax wallet yeah that is on the former chain now i'm going to show you i have a little funds on my former chain of metamax this is what it is so i, I received tier on this chain yes now, after you have done this, you have automatically interacted with Hyperlane and Stripe. Yes, very important. Now, the next thing is for you to try to withdraw from your Metamax wallet, which is on the uh, former chain. You just click on withdraw, and this is going to ask you to withdraw straight to Stripe. So, you're going to have Stripe tier in your Kepler wallet. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, I'll be withdrawing 0 0.2 tier from my former chain then i'll click on withdraw okay this is your uh, stride wallet which is here automatically then the next thing is to click on withdraw and you go ahead to confirm this on metamax or in your metamax wallet of course it's popping up look at that okay i will just confirm this this is just around uh, one dollar uh, 83 cents including the fees, I'll confirm it. Now here we go, transfer transaction sent successfully. So this is the details of your transaction. You're gonna give it a little time so you receive it on Kepler. All right, now let me check my Kepler wallet and see if I've received that. So I'm gonna scroll down a little and uh, look for tier in the um, Stripe. Okay, it has not dropped yet. Do I have just a little fun here already? I actually sent 0.2, so that's what I'm going to receive. This might take a little time. Just be patient. You're going to receive it. Now, when you receive this phone, you can IBC transfer this phone back from Stride to Celestia. How does that work exactly? You just click on this. You can see IBC here, and you can see this is on Stride. Okay, just click on that, and go ahead and click on Send. Now you're going to see IBC send, click on that, and go ahead to select the chain, which is Celestia. That is the home chain. You click on it, and you enter the amount you want to move from Stride onto Celestia proper. After doing that, you hit the send button, and this is going to transfer back your funds from Stride into 
seller share. I hope you understand that. Otherwise, feel free to ask any question in the comment section. So I'm still actually waiting for this to come in. And as soon as it does, I'll be doing the IBC transfer, which I might be showing you or not, but I've just explained to you how this works. Okay, so this is exactly how it works with this new project. Just go ahead and keep interacting and increasing your interaction on Hyperlink. Now, another thing I'm going to advise you to do is to try to make an LP on the Hyperlink. Remember what most of these projects are doing right now. Nobody knows what is going to be the criteria tomorrow. So just make sure you touch every angle. I'm still going to keep updating us from time to time. As long as I get new updates, I will let you know. Now, another thing you need to do on this is to go and meet the former chain NFT. This is more like an NFT platform. So this is the NFT page right here. So I'm going to connect my uh, Metamax wallet. This is one of the reasons why you should have some funds in former chain on Metamax wallet. Okay. So um, I already have this NFT. I have minted it before now. So it's costing around 0.33 um, tier. You can actually mint this if you want to do that. Okay. This is going to end in two days time. Look at the duration right here. So make sure you try to mint if you're interested. Around 8,000 plus people already minted this NFT. Now let me show you my own collection. So I'll go straight to my collection. And this is my collection so far. Yeah, I minted um, yesterday. So if you're interested, just go ahead and mint it. Who knows? It might list uh, with a good price. I don't know. The first NFT they actually access to mint, which I didn't mint. And at the time, that NFT was being minted around 0 0.5 tier. And currently, it is trading around 37 tier. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure you just mint this. Who knows? It might be um, what it's later on. Okay, so that was it on the former chain. Like I said, if I have any other update concerning Hyperlink, of course, I'm going to be updating you. Now, let's move to this new project on Testnet. Yes, Phoenix. Phoenix is here and they have raised $22 million. Recently raised $15 million. Previously raised um, $7 million. So everything currently is $22 million. And this is on Testnet very big project okay so let me show you their twitter handle and the big project that are already in support of them so this is their recent tweet we have raised additional 15 million dollars okay i'll just scroll down a little to show you um here we go arbitrum is actually congratulating them and excited to scale ethereum with them we also have eigen layer right here so there are a lot of big projects actually happy for them and ready to um, work with them in the nearest future. So I think you should actually pay attention to this project. It might be worth it later in the future. Now, what exactly are we supposed to do? It is very simple. The first thing is to get their faucets, which is right here on Helium. Yeah, so you just paste in your wallet address and go ahead to hit the I'm not a robot button and you start mining this token if you don't have the rpc also for helium you can easily get it on chainlist.org just leave this to keep mining until you are okay and you go ahead to claim it remember just post your wallet address and that is all you need to do so the next thing is for us to bridge from sepolia straight to helium or phoenix so this is their bridge right here we're just going to connect um sepolia click on connect to sepolia and i'll switch over Okay, I already have some fonts in Phoenix, which is 0 0.02, but I'm just going to bridge more. Okay, I'll enter 0 0.05 and I'll hit the deposit font. Then I'll confirm it, waiting for confirmation. So you have to be patient again for this one to actually go through. We are bridging from Ethereum Sepolia straight to Phoenix Helium network now the issue is that at the moment you cannot bridge from phoenix back to sepolia so that is not supported at the moment but it is okay for you to get the faucets bridge as much as you can into uh, phoenix and very soon be able to bridge out this is just for you to secure your place as an early user yeah this is our pending transactions and it is going to reflect very soon in our balance right here Okay, let me show you my 
um, finish balance on uh, Metamax. So I'll just type it in. And here we go. Okay. So I have 0 0.02 at the moment, which is not bad. Okay. So that is it on Phoenix at the moment. Now, there is something else you can do. You can participate in their quest on Discord. You need to join their Discord and you go straight to the community quest. I'm going to leave the link to their Discord in the description of this video. Just do that. Keep your eyes on the ground for more information because they are just getting started. Yeah. All right. This is all I wanted to show you today. Make sure you take advantage of this information and position yourself. Anything is possible in this space. Thank you so much for watching. If you're here to smash the like button, do that right now. And if you're here to subscribe, do so immediately and then turn on the notification bell. I'll definitely see you in my next one. And don't forget, we are going to make it. Bye.